Hello, my name is Dan Hill, and I'm a co-founder of the MIT Center based in Kishino, Moldova. Today, I'd like to tell you about an exciting opportunity to participate in a new and important initiative, which will have a very positive effect on Moldova's future. As we all know, the Republic of Moldova is confronting numerous economic problems. One of the main reasons for this is their outdated and underfinanced education system. As a result, the best and brightest of their young people, who are the country's future, are leaving Moldova to get their education elsewhere. And many of these young people do not return, resulting in a brain drain that is very dangerous for the country's future prospects. Within higher education, about 7,000 of Moldova's smartest students decide to study abroad each year. And this has been happening for more than a decade, with an increasing number leaving each year. Correspondingly, the number of university graduates within Moldova has been in steep decline for more than a decade. Another of Moldova's biggest problems is that its labor market does not have enough skilled workers. Related problems are a lack of highly qualified teaching academics and business leaders who frankly have received less education than needed to function at maximum effectiveness. A major problem is that the number of available IT specialists in Moldova has stagnated at around 10,000 while the market's requirement for IT specialists is much higher and is growing by the year. IT companies are trying to solve this problem by recruiting employees from other countries in Southeast Europe and also by organizing their own internal training programs. A side effect of the shortage in IT specialists is that local salaries in the IT field are rising. But this does not mean that local companies are improving their competitiveness on the global market. In fact, the situation is the opposite. For the most part, training programs in neighboring countries are better implemented than they are in Moldova. And the number of Moldovan university graduates is declining as more young people are migrating abroad, as we have just discussed. Looking ahead further into the future, recent studies by McKinsey, the Gallup Institute, and the World Economic Forum estimate that by the year 2035, one billion global jobs will disappear as a result of digitalization. Both employers and employees will have to be prepared to succeed in a world that's becoming increasingly technology-reliant and where market requirements are developing and changing rapidly. Our goal here is not to cause panic, but rather to provide an elegant solution to the urgent requirement to keep Moldova's best and brightest in Moldova, and also to assist Moldovan businesses by preparing young Moldovan university graduates to quickly provide value for the businesses which hire them. In order for Moldova and Moldovan companies to be winners in the rapidly approaching future, we must be well prepared for the changes that are coming. It is time to start switching Moldovan education to a system that prepares young people with the specific skills required to be competitive and successful in the rapidly changing global marketplace. Of course, having better prepared employees will also result in Moldovan businesses being more competitive and successful on the global stage. One of the most promising new developments in the field of education is something called quality blended learning. It teaches and promotes personal responsibility better than any other education system and provides students with the necessary self-confidence that's required to build successful careers. Blended learning is already being used effectively in countries like the USA, China, Malaysia, and South, Af South Africa. Numerous other countries are also working to implement it right now. 
the MIT Center has been established to implement the blended learning education model for Moldova in a high quality and financially affordable way. Please stay tuned for the next videos where we will show and explain the services that we provide and how our NGO will help jumpstart the use of state-of-the-art blended learning in Moldova. Perhaps most importantly, we will also explain how your organization can participate in and benefit from this important project. As I mentioned previously, a primary goal of our NGO is to serve the local Moldovan business community. We'll be working in close partnership with each participating organization to provide students with training that is tailored to develop the specific knowledge and skill sets that will be required by the companies where they will be working. For a deeper understanding of our program and how you and your organization can benefit and participate, please stay tuned for the next video with my friend, colleague, and the founder of MIT, Guido Schwarzer.